Hello, mate. So we just got to the house, and Kiara got me something. Literally, I'm shocked. Neem Marcus bag. Literally, I am so happy. Let me see what my sister got me. I gave her her gift already. Do you love it or do you love it? I love it. <laughs> so let's see what this is. I really wasn't expecting anything. <gasps> oh, this is the sparkling body oil y'all if you've seen this all over the internet you know how pretty this looks i just want to see how it looks in person because Shit. <laughs> girl please this is never going back it was either i was gonna like it or you was gonna keep it Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. Let me smell. Let me see if it smells like actual baccarat. Yes, it does. Mm, I thought it would be a spray or something, but you have to apply it like that. Oh, cute. And thank you, Kia. Mm. That's so cute. But I'm about to do a little something and then I'm going to wash my hair and then my sister is going to help me style my hair and then we might have some festivities later on. So yeah, I'll check with y'all later. I just wanted to show y'all this little gift she Look got me. Look at how it, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. And this has been selling out everywhere. Girl, they didn't want to sell and it And I to got me. this. Um, at Neiman because... I guess some lady was trying to hoard it for her damn self. That's what a lady? Whoever worked behind the counter too. Oh, she they thought. They were like, we can't sell it. We can't sell it. And they were like, why? Mm. Well, it was meant. She fixed up my hair. Thankful for her, but I'm taller than her. People think I'm so short, but hey. Read my shirt, y'all. So over it. You gonna do my baby hairs? Y'all, yeah, they're doing that trend on TikTok where where I was scrolling through TikTok while my sister was doing my hair. And they're doing that trend where they're saying death on celebrities like fake. What are you doing? I'm even better. Oh. And they're saying that their parents fave celebrity um had a death yeah and i think that's i mean it's funny the reactions are funny i ain't gonna lie but i'm not saying that because i'm not wishing death on nobody and also as long as beyonce is not brought into this go off okay don't bring our our girl into this stop moving or nikki please oh yeah nobody said nikki yet either but it's mainly like older celebs <laughs> yeah like older celebs y'all book me book her and y'all my sister you want to have that do they know about you shooting for people oh pictures yeah no y'all if y'all need pictures for in milwaukee wisconsin area y'all can hire my sister she took all my photos when i lived here she helped a girl grow her instagram and didn't get paid at all girl i will you <laughs> know what's up <laughs> Don't turn around. <laughs> Kyra, stop! What? Bitch. What? You fought that girl. She beat the fuck out of you. And well, I, I had to, never get beat up. And I had to jump I've in. never got beat up. I had to jump in. I've never got beat up. <laughs> I had to jump in. Anyway. Hello, everyone. So I just want to end off the video here. Um, and I want to talk about like spending the holidays when you don't have a big family. Girl, if you are somebody that has similar issues like me, I don't have a big family. I don't. 
Um, this year, my mama didn't even decorate the house like that. I think because it was just a busy overload this year. Um, and had a lot of things going on. But girl, if you can relate, I'm here with you, girl. I'm some, I don't have a big family. Um, and I've also, and also to be 100% transparent, like my family is a little, everything is separated. Everything is not together. Um, but throughout the years, I've really just, you know, just learned to appreciate my family and what I do have because my mama and my sister is really all that I have. So I just have to value that and appreciate that. But it does like suck when you're on the internet and just scrolling and seeing all these big families getting together, playing games and just celebrating. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's definitely a different feeling I can't describe. Like the holidays are just so different when you get older. Ugh, it's just crazy. I hope that you all spend time with your loved ones. I hope Christmas went exactly how you wanted it to. I hope you got what you wanted. I didn't get nothing for Christmas. <laughs> well, my sister got me a Baccarat thing which I'm very grateful for. But I really don't expect anything, honestly. I really don't. Um, I'm grown now. I can buy whatever I want. Um, and Christmas is way more than just gifts, you know what I'm saying? So it's about giving back, and I feel like I've gave back so much during this holiday season, especially during Vlogmas, and I want to give back so much more because, y'all, I'm appreciative to my supporters and everything that y'all do for me like comment subscribe all that i have some more giveaways coming up soon so make sure you subscribe so you'll be able to be notified on that and yeah i hope y'all have a good new year's if i don't see y'all um until then but i might i should today i'm going to chicago today i'm spending time with my sister so i gotta get ready for that but so i'm getting ready to go to Chicago, I'm spending the day with my sister. If y'all don't know, I am a twin. And she lives, um, what the, why is there no thing? And she lives in Wisconsin and I live in Atlanta. She has some returns to make. So I was like, yeah, let's go. And they just built a Ralph's coffee. Oh my God, this is just work. I'm all for a Chicago trip. I like Chicago. When I lived here, I always used to go there. And it's only an hour from where I'm actually from. It's, I'm from Racine, Wisconsin. And yeah, like I said, it's literally only a hop, skip, and jump away. That's why in Atlanta, I'm really not one of those people like, oh my God, it's 30 minutes away. Because I'm so used to driving. Because Racine doesn't have much at all. The malls, I had to go to Milwaukee, which was like 45 minutes. So I was always driving to get somewhere. Because Racine is very behind on a lot of things. There's no mall. There's not a lot of things to do. So I will always have to go out and explore outside the city. I don't want to wear heavy makeup because I want to take a photo today and I want to wear these sunglasses. I've never taken a photo in. So, y'all know when you wear heavy makeup and sunglasses just don't mix. I be having indents in my face and I don't like that. And also, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because... It's cold. It's so cold here. It's like negative degrees. <laughs> it's 19 degrees today, but still. But it's, the sun is out, so that's nice. Wait, what's the degrees for tomorrow? I leave tomorrow, though, so I'm just trying to make the best of today. And I don't need to spend time with my sister like that because, I don't know, she's very, like, she play. Just something isn't always right where she doesn't want to come to the A, which is fine. I don't want to force anyone to be where they're just not comfortable and satisfied because I like everybody to feel themselves comfortable and be able to enjoy themselves when they're in the right state of mind. So I just let her, you know, whenever you're ready, girl, I'm here. So I'm just gonna make the best of today with her. And it should be a good time. Chicago is always stuff to do. 
and I didn't give myself anything this year for Christmas just because I just want to I don't know I want to work harder to push my brand I don't know I just feel like I didn't deserve it this year I don't when I just like to treat myself when I feel like I deserve something I didn't deserve it this year I don't know I'm just really hard on myself especially when it came to this month of December being specific because I obviously I was doing vlogmas and with that you gotta upload a video every single day first I couldn't upload on time just due to the fact that I had I couldn't upload after a certain amount of days after I posted a video so I was a delayed on that and then also it was a delay because sometimes sponsorships would be <coughs> sometimes sponsorships would be in my videos and I couldn't post it because they are sponsored so you have to go off what the brand wants and it would just make me feel discouraged even though I am working with a sponsor it's still discouraging because I still want to perform at my best when I'm posting on YouTube as well because obviously YouTube is my career at the end of the day I want to perform well on that platform and I just feel like I wasn't performing well I wasn't showing up the way I wanted to and I was very hard on myself I still am and I'm just there's a fire in my ass right now where I just want to upload the content that I want to have so many videos I want to upload before the new year and also starting off the new year. Um, I'm just very motivated. I just want to be the best at what I do. And who doesn't? Who doesn't want to be the best at what they do? Um, so, yeah, I'm just been doing a lot of reflecting on my performance and I just really just want to be better. And there's always a room for improvement when it comes to a job or anything like that. And I just feel like this year also, I've just really been cutting off for real. I just really been cutting people off left and right because I just feel like I've expressed a lot of times how I wanted to be treated this year I really learned a lot this year about myself and how I want others to treat me and I'll say that for another video but I just learned to speak up for myself and I learned to express how I feel and also express how I don't like something to anybody in my life friend lover whatever I just don't close my mouth anymore and just let it be. I just learn to speak up and say what I need to. So I have come to a point where I've had breaking points where I'm not going to keep repeating myself on how I wanted to be treated as far as a person in somebody somebody's life. And it's like, I'm tired of telling people how to treat me. And also, I'm a Pisces, so I really look out for other people's feelings, but for my own, and I expect the same in return. But honestly, if you don't expect anything, you won't be disappointed. And I've just come to the point where I just cannot expect anybody to treat me how I treat others. And it also comes to a point where sometimes you just can't have discussions with people on how you feel without them getting defensive. And it's hard to approach people over and over again about something when all they do is make, get defensive and make excuses. So I tend to fall back on a lot of things. And that's where the cutoff happens. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'm protecting my peace. I'm trying to heal. And I'm trying to just be better. And healing is just not a overnight process. <clears throat> so I've just been really patient with myself and I'm just gonna trust in God that he is going to guide me to where I want to be in life well, my, sister, my sister should be on her way I'm really not doing a whole lot to my face 
Um, and it's crazy how this year people have come to these crazy descriptions of makeup. For instance, I, just, I don't know why it just made me think about that right now just because of my blush. But people are like cold girl makeup, clean girl makeup. I'm just like, oh my God. The internet is so saturated with a certain type of lifestyle people want to live. And it's just, oh my goodness. I don't, I, I can't keep up with it anymore. I'm just over it. I'm over it. And I never kept kept up with it, honestly, but it's just a lot to look at on the internet. And I'm just like, mm. But I just had to come to terms that I want to be out the loop and in my bag. Out the loop and in my bag. <clears throat> so what are y'all's plans for New Year's? Comment that down below and let me know what the vibes are for new years are y'all partying are y'all drinking honestly i'm at the point where i just want to be around people who actually care about me i don't know i might go ahead and do a little solo trip or something i don't know i just want to celebrate and i also want to do a vision board as well because I have so many things I want to do in 2023. 2023 is going to be my year, okay? It's going to be my year. And like I said, I have a fire in my ass where all I want to do is just keep pushing no matter what. No matter what my numbers may look like, I just have to keep pushing. Because I love creating content. I love what I do. So numbers really don't matter. I'm just really just trying to perform and be my best trying to get all so and it's crazy all my life i've always been the best that i can be at anything that i ever did if i really wanted to do something i'm like i'm going to be the best at this literally even with phlebotomy like i felt like i was the best phlebotomist and so forth it was just i don't know i always just even working at target i don't even know if i told y'all i worked at target before but i they literally was like oh my god you're so good at this you don't want to do this forever i'm like absolutely not what because i would always go above and beyond for whatever i did it doesn't even matter i just wanted to be the best at it and i wanted to be good at it i wanted to be a skill under my belt that i can do and it's crazy, I've never thought I would be so good at capturing angles, cap capturing aesthetics that I feel like would be a good shot in the lens. I don't know, I just really love looking at film being put together. I don't know what I'm saying right now, but I'm just ranting. So I don't have nobody else to talk to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm waiting on my sisters to bring me a flat iron because she did my hair last night and the bonnet of course fell off i sleep like a wild grizzly bear it never stays on where is my oh here i need to contour my nose because it's looking crazy and when I'm back home, I really be chilling. I am on chill mode right now. I'm relaxed. I don't know why it feels like a vacation sometimes. I be so relaxed. I don't know if it's because it's cold, the weather. But I'm like, I'm chilling. I'm off. I'm off the radar. Being at home just, I don't know. It's just like, it's home. It's nice. It's calm. But it's also, without even trying, calm here nothing exciting is going on but today is like equivalent to black friday sales as well so good thing we are going out here but i don't think i'm gonna have room in my suitcase but i don't even know if my i hopefully my flight back home will not be canceled um because all these flights are getting canceled i forgot my lip pencil so i have to use my IRL. 
I need to go to Sephora. I really want to see if they have any more of the Fenty butter drop because y'all it's all sold out you can't even get it on line anymore everything at sephora um not even on fenty is sold out it's like all gone so <laughs> i want to see if they have it in chicago or maybe here in milwaukee but i'm sure it's gone it's just it smells so good like and the reason I was on a hunt for one is because I gave one away in one of my giveaways. And I was like, you know what, I need to hurry up on this because <laughs> I was very generous on giving that away too because obviously it's limited edition. And I was like, okay, I'll just go ahead and replace it. Nope, went to the stores. Absolutely no way. This lip combo actually eats. Wow, my lips are good. She's taking forever. But well, yeah, I think I'm gonna wear my hair straight. I'm gonna figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear. I wanna be comfy, comfy, cute. And did I say warm too? Let's go. It's cold as the fuck outside. Mm, my eyebrows are too dark. I don't know. She was probably just being dramatic. It's like, don't do that. <laughs> so y'all, I'm trying to figure out what coats I want to wear. So this is like a trench coat. I'm honestly feeling the trench coat now. Now that I got my hair together with my Gucci um, scarf and then like this um, Aritzia two-piece. I feel like this is going to keep me warm for sure. And I tied the back up. Because if you have a trench coat, tie the back so it can give you um, more shade so you don't look like a box. But I kind of like this. This is like, you can't really. But I like this. But let me show y'all my other option. And this will be the second option. The cropped coat just gives it that cool girl chic look. But also, I had to tie my jacket because it was a little not doing it for me. I don't know. I, I like both, but I see both give off a different vibe. <sighs> <laughs> okay let me go because my sister is waiting on me so yeah i think i'm just gonna go with the crops coat y'all this is downtown milwaukee y'all see it's so empty like no no business going on at all oh, cute. yeah i did live here but it's just like i'm glad i don't live here so dry. Like your boo. Who? 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 And the weather is so nice. It's actually not that cold. But it might be colder in Chicago. The wind is windy.
Y'all, so we just got to the shy. And I really wanted to go get my coffee first, but my sister had to go make a return at Zara for exchange. We can go to Neiman first, because do you think they will have, they might have sales. They got sales going on. Okay, so we're going to go to Sax first, because she's trying to put this outfit together. So let me put my camera away. I don't go outside for people to be saying, put your camera away. Y'all, so my me and my sister are on a hunt for her. Don't say it. Can't you even show burnt. these people. Oh no, this elevator stank. No, you burnt. No. So we're on a hunt for these this item, so she can get this outfit together for her friend birthday party. But we can't find it. But let me put my phone. So we just got to Gals and I got a matcha latte with oat milk, shot of espresso on my regular. So I'm gonna try and see how it tastes. Ooh. Oh my god, I don't like this. I should have got a regular coffee. <laughs> it's like matcha, matcha, like powder. You should, can you go get the, a regular coffee? I really want some coffee though. The reserve. <laughs> Y'all, this is so strong. Like, it's matcha. Like, it's not sweet or nothing. <laughs> Y'all, so if y'all are trying to get a matcha from Ralph's, beware. Like, I love, I love matcha and this is strong. I like mine's not that bitter. I like mine's a little sweet. It's no sweetness to it. But anywho, it's snowing, y'all, so we probably gotta hit the highway because I don't know how bad it's gonna get. And I don't, we don't like driving in snow. So, but yeah, cheers. Y'all, so I came to Lululemon. Our Lululemon in Georgia is trash. So I obviously came to the one in Chicago and I finally got to flat chart on the, it's the Define jacket and it's supposed to be like the BBL and I really like this, y'all. It's so good. It's definitely hugging me in. It's tight and you already know. I really been into my workout phase, so I definitely can use this on days when you know I'm going to the gym. But yeah, I like this. This is cute. cute. And I also got some sale items because maybe I'm not passing up no clearance rack, okay? <laughs> Especially in here. This color is so This is on sale, but I don't know y'all. But I was thinking this for like ski trip vibes. I'm gonna have to order the things. You're sold out? I'm still up here. But like some silver boots? Yeah. Okay. I'll just find a different color in it. And the shiny metallic? See if they have another color then. Uh, what? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> So we just got out of Lululemon's and I actually did end up getting that sparkly jacket because I'm like, I want to go on a ski trip soon. And well, I want to go on a trip soon and I feel like that would be like a cute little 
outfit to wear with like cute silver moon boots or something like that. I don't know if y'all are feeling the vibes, but the pants are sold out. So I'm going to have to improvise something. But the jacket is so cute. Like it's like a brown with like silver metallic touch. It's like... Like, even my sister liked it on me. She was like, I like that. And at first, she was like, no, you are questioning it. You're like, yeah, I'm like, Ugh. But it looks actually really cute on, so I ended up getting it. And it was on sale. It was marked down. But, yeah, we're going to be on our way back to Wisconsin before the weather gets bad. So, yeah, this was a cute little day. Did you have fun? No. Oh. <gasps> Liar! Ew. <laughs> Why are you drinking that? You was just jacking on it. Actually, it's, Let me taste it's it. simmered down. Girl, bye. Let me see. I'm the real tester here because I don't drink coffee. It's not coffee. It's matcha. <laughs> no, ma'am. Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it, drink it, eat it, consume it, shit it out. <laughs> that shit is nasty. Anyways, it's it's not that bad now. <laughs> it needed to like get. <laughs> it needed to. I sound like the dad me. from um, Courage the Cowardly Dog. No, you sound like that girl. Chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> from SpongeBob. Yeah, that bitch. She looks like a string of fish doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I actually like putting eyebrow pencil on my lips. It actually, I don't know. Yeah, I used my eyebrow pencil because I didn't have my lip liner. Anyways, I guess I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the scene. So y'all, I just came to Milwaukee and um, we're at Elsa's on the park. I haven't been here in so long, y'all. But their ceviche and their wings are so good. And I, my eyes are really puffy because I got emotional <laughs> about something. I'll let y'all know that later. But and it's just giving me so many memories. I haven't been here in like years. I feel like yeah, I haven't been here in like three years. But it's like a cool little vibe in here. The chairs are like low and vibey. Their drink menu. I'm gonna get the sour teeny. Uh, everything is just clean back there. Like, it's crazy. So y'all, I already told y'all that I'm at Elsa's. And look at my girl right here sitting right across from me. Hey, so beautiful. Yes, Thank body you, babe. No, that's you. Thank you. Chicken nachos. Hey, y'all. It is the next day, and from being in Chicago. And the last time I think I talked to y'all, I was talking to y'all about um that was a little emotional yesterday and it explains because this morning i just got on my period i don't know if that's too much tmi but i just rolled past the house that i basically like grew up in which is my mom's mom's house my Lita's house which she passed away um just going by her house really just made me really emotional um i don't know it's just hard that's a, we literally lived there pretty much well not lived there but we were always there i was always with my cousins um in her house um during the summertime and we would go there every single sunday like my mom was a single parent and she had a lot of help from our mom which was malita and we were there all the time and i just i just had the flashbacks of being there no it was just i i got really emotional because i know my grandma loved me and she took care of me every time i was sick um my mom would do laundry there because we lived in apartments that had <laughs> um you know the washer and dryers with the coins so we would go there every sunday and um 
watch TV because we didn't have cable at our house. So we just watched TV there and just enjoyed the Sundays there every single Sunday. Like I would spend the night there all the time. I remember when I was young and my mom used to leave me over there all the time. And I would wait up for my mom to come home because I didn't want to sleep there. But I would wait for my mom to come home all the time. And I would always watch those music videos that on MTV that aired at nighttime. <laughs> and I don't know. I would just wait. I will look out the window and wait for my mom to come get me from her being out at the club. And she never, or she never came and got us. And... Um, I used to bake cookies with my grandma all the time from scratch. It made me real emotional and I had got flashbacks and everything. But yeah, it was just, uh, that's when life was like simple. <laughs> like I remember everything, like I have good memory, like, and I don't know, life was just simple. I'm about to get ready to go grab me some food. Y'all, I'm stuck here in wisconsin there's no flights out to atlanta <laughs> like everything is sold out everything is sold out and i don't even know i don't even know how i'm gonna get back home um but yeah and oh my god i just posted my pictures i thought i failed miserably at me and my sister were trying to get like a good picture i wanted to get like a cute little coffee shop picture at ralph's but I just couldn't. The lighting was terrible. It sucked. But, you know, I may do. And it's doing really well on Instagram. Now on Instagram, I'm just like, whatever. It is what it is. I like it, y'all. Like, if y'all don't, y'all don't. Like, it is what it is. It's the vibes. And also, around this holiday season, if... I know I just talked about my grandma, but make sure you're cherishing your time with your folks especially the older ones that's why i'm like i need to go visit my granny like i need to go visit her because i haven't in a minute because every time i come into town i'm like in and out my sister goes to see her all the time but i need to take the time out to do so as well and also i just really want to spend more time with my mama because i feel like she I don't know. She, I need to send her on vacation. That's all I got to say. Like, she takes on a lot when it comes to me and my business. And I don't know. I just don't want her to get so stressed that it causes some things. So, year 2023, hopefully, it gets stress-free for her and i want to send her on vacation mama doesn't even have a passport but we're gonna fix that so yeah and if you are grieving over somebody you lost during this holiday season i'm praying for you and they just know they're watching over you and they still love you but yeah like i said i just got done with doing some work and i'm about to Go grab something to eat. Mm. My sister's at work. I'm just stuck in Milwaukee. But I'm about to. I really need to go visit Keisha because she's pregnant and I haven't seen my friend in so long. I should call her and see what she's doing. Let me call her. I'm on my menstrual cycle. Obviously, I just told y'all. And I really want to eat like bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm not even... I don't want to though, but I do. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to sit here and ramble, but I'm hungry and I'm cramping. I need some ibuprofen. I want some chocolate. I woke up craving chocolate and I'm like, oh no, at work, oh fuck. And y'all are asking where are my videos. Like I said in the beginning of this vlog, like I was trying to keep up with Vlogmas and also do sponsorships. Just waiting on approvals. And also Aritzia commented on my um, photo I posted because I tagged them because I wore their sweatsuit yesterday. They need to give me a sponsorship. Like I'm going to make a vision board. Um, I'm, That's what I'm doing on New Year's. I'm making a vision board um from scratch like a whole board um and i think i want to frame it 
well not frame it maybe i should frame it and i think that would be cute kind of like a live real live vision board and like frame it yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do um but on new year's i'm not sure where i want to go i want to go somewhere i wanted to go somewhere hot but clearly i can't get back to atlanta and get my stuff so i don't know what's gonna happen with that but yeah i really been loving my skin lately like I do need to do the plan though. But I guess I'll check in with you guys once I see what I'm about to get into out here. It's cold though. But yeah. I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah. 10 or 9. In both? Try this. This that would be good. Yeah, this is huge. X is nine or eight. What size is this? This fit your big ass foot. It don't say. Oh, so for eleven. Let me try. Big ass foot. It's a forty one. Oh, so I need ass. socks too. Right here. No, I need socks like in general. Oh, here. this look cute on my feet. Fresh manicure? Here. But I need a I need a ten. Yeah, can I get a ten in these? Yes. These are a four. No, I think brown will look better. I know. So y'all, me and my sister are out doing a little shopping because I don't have anything. <laughs> Sorry. And I needed some clothes and stuff. So that's a, a 10. A 10? Yes. Thank you. Can I try the... Yeah. Yeah. You got a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. Thank you. You said what else? Um, the pink ones. I want to see the pink ones in a, um, a 10 too. Dang, these are big, but like not. These are a 10. Maybe you need a 9. Yeah, I need a 9. Well, maybe I don't. Jackie. These are cute. Uh, Especially in Atlanta because you don't get cold like that. Well, it is cold, but. Real fine. I like these. Oh, cute. With a fresh. Do you like this pedicure? <laughs> you do? Yo, I thought my pedicure was a little bit too. Yeah, I like the dark pink look. I thought my pedicure was a little too big. But my sister was like, I think this looks so cute with like a French too. And then I got a bunch of skin stuff. So I got a skin dress, some skins underwear. I gotta do a maintenance tomorrow, y'all. I don't have no, like I need to do my maintenance. I'm hairy, I need to shave my face. I gotta shave, exfoliate, all that. So I gotta get everything. So I wanna have a maintenance day tomorrow. So my sister is taking me to Target and stuff before she goes to a little birthday bash. Girl, She's gonna be outside. I got my Maybe I should get both. Maybe I should get her these. Ew, I don't like the two tone though. You don't like the pink? I don't like the two tone. Which color should I get, y'all? They, these weren't big, so if y'all are like ordering these online, I would recommend sizing down. These are nine. No, you wouldn't. So. Are or did you he bring me a ten? Uh, okay, let me try the nine. This is a ten. Correction, y'all. These are a ten, so I'm gonna ask him if he can um, bring out the nine because I wanna see. Maybe I'll find him if I go. On Saturday. So yeah, maybe these are the nine. So yeah, they definitely size it down for sure. Cute. So I'm gonna get these. They don't have the brown ones in the nine, but that's okay. I think I'm meant to get the pink. Y'all, so I had to come to Target because, like I said before, 
for it. I don't have nothing. So, y'all, they got these cute workout sets. Oh, I'm going to have to waste time at home because I know I'm not going to be able to squeeze any of this in my suitcase. But look at this. So cute. I'm definitely going to get the black belt. I'm not going to hold you. Oh, my God. Y'all, start Target. <laughs> Target is definitely up. Don't play with them. Oh, my God. Why are these that extra small? Y'all, Target has these flared out leggings. Definitely in the top of there. I need a large. For sure. So, obviously, I'm getting like a whole bunch of self care stuff for me to like exfoliate, dry brush. And it's so annoying because obviously I have all this stuff at home. Like, I need a dry brush to do dry brushing, but I guess I can pass on that. And y'all, I'm looking at like this area right here and somebody must have misplaced these. These are down there wipes, pH balance. I'd be so iffy about stuff like this. Um, but if y'all try these, let me know. Extra animal my menstrual tracker right now. So I need a little extra, you know. This is so cute. But these are bath moms. You just never know, bro. But I really want to get my away ones, but it's like, it's like a whole case full. I'm just going to have to use a whole bunch because I can't take it all with me. And I trust those. I don't know about this. Cherry Shea Black Fusion. Cherry Scented. I'm a sucker for Cherry Scented. I could just get this and not that. This isn't good for the pH. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in my cart just in case though. Look at this donut. Ah! That smells good. This is a mango lime bubble bath. I think I like the peach one better. Y'all, I just need to relax. This smells good. Okay. Y'all, I'm getting carried away. Y'all should see my car. It's disgusting. This is all these brands I've never seen. This is a Glam Body Scrub Sugar Crush. This is what it look like. <laughs> Shout out to the girlies that's getting their products in Target. Oh my god. This bubbling brown sugar, this smells just like the, oh my god, this smells like Rihanna's uh, butter drop, vanilla bath, bubble bath. Let me see how this one smell. Wait, let me smell this again. But then it don't, I don't know. I'm in the men's section right now because I need a razor. And this right here this smells just like Santal 26 to me or something no this smells like by Rito. this smells like by Rito gypsy water oh my god this is spot on i'm getting this just so i can have a smell good I'm like what does this smell like what's this oh this is a Thing, but if you like gypsy water, this one is half the price. $9.99 men's section. This is the silver water. Yep, by Rito. Gypsy water. On point. Fresh. I know I said I was getting a razor, but actually I'm just gonna get near because I don't feel like dealing with anything else. And this is exactly what I need, a face shaver. Cause baby, I'm hairy in the face. So we gotta remove that peach, peach fuzz. So I, <laughs> so 
so I want to do a face mask tonight, hence this ugly ass pimple. So I'm going to get the burst mask. I've been wanting to try this. It has A, H, A, and B, H, A in it. So I can't wait to see how this works. And I think that's it. So I'm leaving. <laughs> Y'all, I lied. I'm also in the vitamin section because I'm running low. And I did not know Care Up was in Target. So, I'm about to get some probiotics. I still have my um, multivitamin from Ritual, so that's good. But I do need some more probiotics, so I'm just going to try this out. And then also, if you tune into this video coming up, I do have a drink that I drink for hydration. I would get this to try out, but um, I kind of want to, though. I'll get it when I get back home, but I need this for sure. I'm about to give y'all a haul of everything that I got. And I'm back at the hotel now. Me and my sister have parted ways because she was going to a birthday dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I can't believe I'm stuck here and I'm just, you know how like when you're just traveling and you obviously didn't expect, I, I don't even know if y'all will relate to this, but maybe you will, um, because all the flights are being canceled. But anywho, I just feel like I'm not prepared. I wasn't prepared for being stuck here. Um, I don't even have that many clothes. Um, I only came here like two days supplies worth of clothes and that was it. Um, but I did come with a couple options for when me and my sister went to Chicago. Um, cause I obviously wanted to be cute or whatever, but I just feel so like I need maintenance. Like I need to exfoliate. I need to shave. I need to get this hair off my body. I need to just relax. Um, that's why I did everything that I did today. Like, it was just random. Like, I'm like, you know what? I need to just go get all of my self-care stuff because I just don't feel right. I feel out of my element. Um, but, yeah, so I had to grab my birthday. My, I had to grab my kiss, Christmas gift for my sister. Definitely going to be using this tonight after I exfoliate. And it smells so good. And it's so pretty on the skin. But, honestly, this is obviously the scent-wise for the same obviously because of Baccarat but literally Tom Ford and this are the same thing and then y'all have seen me go grab these Uggs they're so cute I had to and I had to grab the nine as y'all seen in the previous clips these are just adorable and I feel like I'm gonna wear these and I definitely want the brown pair because the brown pair is cute definitely goes with everything um and then I also got some skins items. I have got this bralette to wear after I get done in the tub and stuff like that. And I think, I feel like this is the smooth sculpting um, shorts. This has to be because the, <gasps> this is an extra small. What? I thought these were a small. I have to return these. <laughs> I don't even know if these are going to fit. I'm going to try them on, but. Oh my God, that's so crazy. But I feel like these are the smooth sculpting shorts that I really like from Skims because they really suck you in. A long Skims dress just to wear probably throughout my trip here um and i got the long sleeve version and this is the glittery type of pattern super appropriate for like new year's or something like that from target we really went crazy so this target had ulta in it and that was good because obviously it also holds goodies for the girls and so i went to sephora when i was in the mall so i like the brioche yo don't just spirit repair it hair mask because i want to do a hair mask on my braids and then also my leave out and I seen the way because obviously I like way products and I've heard good things about this fine to medium hair treatment mask. So I don't know. Let me see how this smells. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I don't know if I can do both masks. I don't know if that's healthy for my hair. Let me know here, girlies. Smells good. It smells just like Melrose Place. 
<sighs> but yeah this how it looks so i don't know if i'll be able to do both but maybe i should just do this one because i haven't used that one before and then y'all see me get the burst mask and then we also got a fresh smelling body wash like I said, y'all, this smells exactly like gypsy water. So if you like gypsy water, go smell this right now. By You're going to like that. Rosemary oil so I can oil my scalp while I'm here. Y'all, I really got everything that I like. And then I got this bath soak. I got it because it was white. It was cute. It's aesthetic. I'm going to take a little cute aesthetic picture because it's so cute in the bathroom. Y'all see. And then I also got my favorite scrub. This is the St. Bart. So luckily they had it at Target because they did not have it at Sephora. Mm, this just smells so good. I just cannot wait to scrub. Also got my chill pills for the bath. And then I got a, a Frenchie candle. I like their cashmere vanilla scents. And also, she got this scent off of Trader Joe's Rice. I was looking at an interview she did. It was on TikTok when I was scrolling. And she's like, yeah, that's like the scent from Trader Joe's Jasmine Rice. So, and it smells really good. And I like, and I like that it was white. So, <gasps> I need a lighter. I'm going to have to ask the people. Target, I got some fuzzy socks for after i take a shower and exfoliate and then i got some their breath this is my favorite oral rinse fresh breath zombie out here smell like halitosis and then i also end up getting one of those bubble bath concoctions and this is the peach one i was gonna get dr teal's but i didn't um i wanted to try something new might as well and this smells like a peach. So if you like fruity baths or you want to put your kids in like a fruity bath, there you go. And then I also got a robe. Y'all cannot have a self-care day without a robe. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a pink robe. So I was like, oh, yes, let me just add it to cart. And this is from the Target um, Stars Above line. This is so like me. Pink, silk, long sleeve. Love it. Got some exfoliating gloves. Y'all, I just cannot wait to get in the shower. I feel so ugh. And then I got some uh, peach fuzz. And we're going to be teeth whitening because I need to whiten my teeth. And then obviously my probiotics, gut health from Care of. Really love their vitamins. Oh, I got me a water. I should have got me some wine. Y'all, I didn't even bring a brush with me. So I had to bring, get a brush. And then I got my favorite, favorite, favorite face wash. Uh, this is the Pan Oxal face wash. I'm just going to keep this in my carry on travel um, thing. This is going to be my travel one. So I just like forget it. And then I got me some more toothpaste. This is the Sensodyne Sock cool comforts lastly from sephora chiedo facial cotton wipes i can't wait to try these out i heard good things and i don't have facial pads for drying off my face and i don't like using hotel towels to do that i don't like using towels in general i picked up some more topicals exfoliating body serum because i'm definitely going to want to use this after i shave and get rid of all that hair well nair where is my nair in my nair so i'm going to want to put that on but this has my body hydrated literally till the next day like if i don't take a shower if i take a shower um one day and then the next day it rolls over and i haven't showered yet my skin doesn't feel dry itchy irritated all because of the slather by topicals i really like this very hydrating protected skin so try this out if you haven't already and when i i went to sephora first y'all i'm gonna have so much stuff i'm gonna give some of this stuff to my sister if i don't use it but this is the scalp and body scrub um, they didn't have the St. Bart's when I went to Sephora, so I just was like, okay, I'm gonna grab this. But this is, um, good too. But I like the St. Bart's better. And then I got some more sunscreen, because I didn't have any more, so I, I used the Super Glue Unseen Sunscreen. And then I got the Peace Out Acne, because this needs to go. Goodbye. 
And then I got the deep conditioning mask by Briogeo. So yeah, that's all of the things that I got. So I am going to start my self care day and that is going to be in a whole separate video. So make sure you tune in for that. And yeah, so I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow cause yeah, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow y'all so it's been um how many days has it been i'm not sure it's new year's eve today and i'm in my hometown right now my hometown like racine wisconsin and i just had to go to the exact beauty supply store that um i used to go to to get my remy my indian remy hair they still have the hair and i don't know y'all i'm just looking at the streets and stuff it's really nothing out here in atlanta and sometimes i tend to forget this just helped me remember how far i've come on my journey it's the 365th day of 2022 i ran into one of my old um middle school high school um friend's mom and she was on facetime and that was crazy now she lives in indiana her name is anisa oh y'all like it's just giving me like wow Kyra, you came so far and you have a long way to go the best is yet to come so i hope y'all are having a great new year's but i'm about to be on my way to a nail salon in chicago i'm really gonna get into russian manicures i'm literally been obsessed with looking at them like the cuticles being pushed back and they just look so good i just want to find a good manicurist in atlanta to really take care of my nails for next year i was gonna soak my acrylic off and just wear my natural nails because i just want long healthy nails so if you know um russian manicurist in atlanta i'm gonna try to find one in chicago as well um when i go there because i want a russian manicure so and then i had a mimosa i just had a mimosa to start off the day it's only two o'clock i want to show y'all the streets like this is like one of the food markets one of the corner stores look at the streets y'all it's like nothing it's just crazy how life is just going so fast but i need to get my hair together because i got my hair redone last night y'all see that in like a whole nother vlog um but yeah i just can't wait to go back to atlanta and get on my routine i'm gonna do a routine reset i miss cycle bar so much i miss going to the gym and yeah but um but yeah i'll talk to y'all later once i get to chicago oh my god i went to high school with him hey y'all i don't know when was the last time i talked to you guys but i'm back home i just took a shower i feel so clean y'all I've been using exfoliating gloves in the shower and it is just top tier. I just started using them because I made a TikTok and I was like, I just want to talk because I'm a person I grew up using different towels every single day, like body towels and wash towels. But people came for me. Well, some people did agree and some people did disagree, but there was no right or wrong answer because everybody grows up different. And so when I was having dinner with the girls um i we had talked about it and then they were like yeah i just use exfoliating gloves tasha said that she used them and i think Aaliyah said that she did as well so i'm like let me um hop into that game so yeah i've been using exfoliating gloves and babes i love taking a shower like i i always like taking a shower don't get me wrong <laughs> But it's just like it's a different feeling I wash my body with three different body washes and it just gets the job done so I'm squeaky clean right now um, but I haven't ate all day and I'm, I need to get back on my routine and I also need to unbox all these packages because I just came back and obviously mail was coming through but I'll unbox them in the morning. And I still got to make my vision board. And I kind of want to do that tonight. But I kind of need to go to bed. Because I really want to go to Psycho Bar in the morning. But we're about to make me something to eat. And one thing about me. I don't care how much money I make. I don't care where I end up in life. I'm always going to have ramen noodles as a comfort meal or something. You know what I'm saying? And also I do have these ramen noodles girl these are spicy if you like spicy food these are the ones um 
I kind of want to mix, but I don't know. I'm not in a woofer. <laughs> Y'all know when you eat the soup and you just like, <laughs> your nose start running and stuff. And I'm just like, <sighs> I'm not in the mood for that. So I'm just going to do chicken noodle, regular. I'm doing two packs because I'm hungry. <sighs> so, but yeah, I'm just coming in to check in with you. And I still have my Christmas decorations up i need to do a whole takedown reset and i'm gonna probably do that on monday my nails are done for i got them done for new year's and they're just breaking and that's exactly why i'm not getting um acrylics anymore but um tim did not do these i love tim i still love him still go to him if you like acrylic nails but i'm definitely transitioning over to um a new leaf unless he can you know specialize in russian manicures but that's what i want to get y'all know how kylie jenner's nails look like they're fake that's because her cuticles are pushed back her nail tech does a good job i think she goes to chung legend really love his work and they just look really good and i just want neat nice taking care of nails oh my god i'm so hungry oh my god and i'm probably gonna binge watch um i've been on the i've been watching real housewives of miami and also potomac and if y'all catch the new episode they was really trying to come for candies i really like candies that's probably one of my favorite housewives of potomac um all the other ones is, i like karen too karen is like i wish she was my rich auntie you know what i'm saying um but i like karen i would definitely love karen as a friend like an older like friend i'm probably gonna watch that and hit the hay um hopefully i can make it to cycle bar in the morning and there's a 6 a.m and a 7 a.m so i have to see which one i'm gonna go to <sighs> but yeah i'm just so happy to be back home and i need to get my ears together so and i really feel good about 2023 i just want so many things to happen for me um but yeah i'm just ready for it i'm ready to work i'm ready to put the work in what northwest be cutting up on the internet y'all look at this <laughs> and kim just be right there supporting her i love that for her i love that kim is a supportive mom ain't no way they recorded this with a straight face <laughs> <laughs> but honestly these days you cannot take the internet series y'all just gotta exist honestly i'm just trying to exist let me let me get my chicken noodle soup it's a chicken salad do y'all like a lot of water or less water i like a lot of water because i like to take, drink the broth well not a lot a lot just just enough to give me a little broth aftertaste a little after broth I'm so persuaded. Um, it's been a couple days since I seen y'all. Today's Saturday. I'm going to run errands, and obviously, you already know I have to come get a car. And my lovely Uber driver, do remember when I was telling y'all, like, I wish I had a DJ for my songs for my videos, and he was telling me that his fiance is an artist. Y'all, her stuff is dope. It's definitely giving R&B. So I'm gonna let y'all know her instagram and where you can check her music out because her uber drive my uber driver is her fiance and he was just over here promoting her <laughs> and he put some tools on for me and they're really good so um where can we find it on youtube on itunes so she's on itunes we go boom so make sure y'all check her out on itunes she's an up-and-coming artist and we got to support black gotta stay together okay exactly. Period. and her so. instagram is the Real Victoria with a K V R K. Yeah. I'll have it on the screen for y'all to go, go check it out. It. But yeah, so Thank you I'm going so to get my car. What is that? What is that thing in the back? I don't know how to stop the van in the back. Okay. So, 
so anyways i'm having such a good day um and i'm gonna continue to have a good day i'm not gonna say so far i'm gonna say i'm gonna continue to have a good day because yesterday was such a bad day i didn't even vlog or nothing yesterday i was supposed to have like a little cute self-care night do my vision board i was about to take my computer out and start doing it but i just wasn't in a mood like literally like just to keep it a buck i wasn't in the mood I'm feeling better. I'm in better spirits. But today is Erin Day and it's early. Um, but yeah, I just have a bunch of things to do today. And also, y'all make sure y'all check out Homegirl that I was just telling you about in the previous clips when I was in my Uber driver. Like, love like that is just so beautiful to me. Like, just promoting your... <laughs> but yeah, oh, love like that is just so beautiful to me. Like, to promote your wife fiance or whoever you're with your significant other and just want them to be their best that's love okay because we were just talking because i actually had him yesterday and literally my last uber um and he had like a little situation going on we were talking about so i brought that up and i was like wait i think i had you yesterday and he was like yeah I, that was me so then we started talking about you know the little situation and then he was like yeah what do you do and stuff like that because i was like i just cannot wait to get my own car and you know i was explaining everything he was like oh my wife you know she's in music and she is trying to promote her music and i was like wow that's crazy because i love putting artists or whoever in my blogs as long as the vibes are there and the tunes are on point i would love to help out you know but i can't obviously because um youtube doesn't allow copyright but um yeah her stuff is lit he was playing a couple of her songs and i was like yeah that's 2023 i'm claiming a good year for everyone 2022 was honestly a bad year for me not gonna hold you but i did learn a lot about myself and what i want you know so a win is a win i'm gonna stop at clean juice first i kind of want to figure out this bluetooth situation so i'm gonna probably talk to y'all later on today but yeah i had to come and check in with y'all and oh my god my even my enterprise um oh oh i forgot oh wait i okay Um, and also, homegirl that helped me, like, that was checking out my, um, rental car, she was being so nice. Like, I was like, wow, like, good energy, good vibes. I was like, oh, wow, I can get used to this. Yo, so I'm currently in Dillard's, being a hot mess. And I had to go to the Apple store because I needed to see if I could get y'all an iPad. But it's close. So, Dillard's, I had a walk in, and what do these remind you of? Golden Goose. Literally half the price. This is only $130. Still expensive, but still affordable. You know what I'm saying? And they still give you the look. I don't, they're not in my size. This is a size 11. I tried it in my stupid. So, but this is the price. I can try it in the same. Thank you. Oh, what'd she say? She said, I love her. Oh, she, so you could have FaceTimed her if you wanted to. Do you mind if I do that? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Alexia, right? Alexis. Alexis. She's going to lose her. That's crazy. These look just like go to goose. <sighs> I'm 
my kitties. So. Alexis. <laughs> hey, boo. Happy New Year. Thank you for always supporting me. Your man literally, your man literally stopped me. He was like, we was just talking about you. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. Literally last night, and then I watched your paper and Oh, period. Thank you. And then he showed me your TikTok, and I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely be showing love to the girls. Thank you. Yes. I had a, because you know, I'm doing an iPad giveaway. And, um, What's crazy is the Apple Store is closed. I don't know why. Do you know why? So they had shooting in the mall yesterday. Oh, over in the Apple Store. Wow. Well, yeah, it, it was a massive shooting by the food court yesterday, and so they shut down the mall. But Dillis is open. I mean, we shut down oh. the mall. <laughs> okay. Yesterday. I'm like, I'm so confused. And then my friend told me, and I was like, oh, because I didn't want to go to Lenny's because they be shooting there. She's like, oh, they just had a shooting yesterday. And I was like, they open, so. But I didn't know that until I just pulled up. And I was like, let me just go in and out of here. That's so crazy. That's so funny. Wait, do you have a I do you have an iPad yet? You could be the giveaway winner. <laughs> Cause I haven't picked it yet. I like to pick like people that like you know that fuck with me for real so it takes time to really see like oh do they really comment do they really watch and you literally just watch my pamper routine so I want to congratulate you because you are the giveaway winner period <laughs> so yes so we are that's just how this is gonna go so I'm about to go get this iPad no oh my god please don't go. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the iPad that's crazy and it's the new year, so you can plan, get you all that, set you up for the new year. So yeah, I'm finna go get this. What time do you get off of work? I get off at 8. 8, so I'ma go to Lennox, drop it off to Homeboy, give it to you, period. You're so welcome. I love this for you. So, I'm finna wrap this up. So you can go get your iPad. And I can go back because I gotta go get my nails soaked off. What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Huh? What color are you doing that? Oh, I'm just going. I'm I gotta get these soaked off because they're done with. I'm not doing acrylics for this year. I'm doing gel Oh, you're not doing a Russian manicure? I am. I'm gonna do the Russian manicure with the gel I'm gonna announce it in my video on Monday. So I'm gonna tell all the people. I done chose my giveaway winner. Period. That's crazy. <laughs> Girl, please. I'm out here looking a mess. Okay, let me run to Lennox. I'm gonna run real quick and then I'm gonna um come back up in here and give it to you. Day, I'm in the car now. Um, as y'all can just see in the previous clips, I was in Perimeter Mall. They had a shooting, so that's why um, the Apple Store was closed. So I am going to make my way to Lenox Mall so I can go get Alexis's iPad. And what's crazy is I was doing an iPad giveaway for my vlog and vlogs. I'm gonna be giving away two iPads. So. This one is for my Vlogmas vlog day one. Alexa, you know how just something just feels right? And obviously, um, I randomly choose giveaway winners. Her boyfriend walked up to me and then he was like, oh my gosh, she loves you. We were just talking about you. And then we took a picture. I took a picture with her boyfriend. And then when I was trying out those, those shoes, he came up to me again. So, and then FaceTimed her. So it's just like, and then she was like, oh, I just watched your pamper routine. And it's just like, I want to get back to the girls that really, you know, fuck with me. Like, I know my girls fuck with me, but it's something about you talking about me with your boyfriend and you just telling him, woo, woo, woo. Like, and then like you just watched my video i just posted and it's just like yes i gotta give it to this girl i gotta give it to her so i'm about to go on my way i'm about to be on my way to go grab that um that's crazy because i wasn't going to come here 
I was just gonna go to the one in Lenox, but I'm just so happy I met Alexis's boyfriend. So, you know, it's just some some people who just it just feels right. Like I don't know. I was I'm having an awesome day, and the vibes have been immaculate, and I just it just feels right to give it to her. So I'm about to do that, and then I need to go get my nails done. And he gets gets off at eight o'clock, so I gotta get back here before then and it's so much traffic right now but yeah i'm just so happy today i'm just so happy like i'm genuinely having the best day ever and it's just the vibes so i secured the bag um at the apple store and also i made a stop in sephora met some of my girls in there morgan she looked stunning um her makeup was on point um, I love going to Sephora. I love meeting the girls literally all the time. The girls that work there, the girls that are just shopping. I just love meeting y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way back to Perimeter Mall to drop off the iPad. And then I'm going to go get my nails soaked off. And then probably my feet done. But I am getting a little hungry. And I don't know where this raspy voice is coming from, but... I like it. Maybe she's here to stay. Maybe she's coming with age. I don't know. But At the light. Cute. Turn left. So I just got home from a chaotic, busy errand day. And oh my God, y'all, we're bald. But it feels good. I cannot wait to go to my appointment this week. I did order some North Italia to go because I am going to be sitting down writing down my goals for this year. I just want to accomplish so much. I. I'm just in go mode right now literally um just because i was uploading on vlogmas doesn't mean that i wanted to slow up on content or anything like that i really just it really just made me like okay like let's get to it um so i'm just ready i'm ready so um yeah i'm gonna do a mini sephora haul y'all look how cute this little saint bart's way is they finally made the scrub and the scalp and body scrub in a mini like travel. This is like the perfect vacation scent, honestly. So it was only right for them to actually make this in a little travel size. So I love that. I did not know this was. So I ended up getting two of those and then I got a face mask i've been wanting to try this mask because it's only 15 dollars. it's a pore clearing clay mask i might try this tonight so the girl i was telling you about morgan she works in sephora if you go to sephora in um lennox mall you'll see her and she was like yeah get this and then i also got a new body wash by sol de janeiro and then last thing that i got is this donna karen cashmere mist deodorant i've been wanting to try this Oh my God, this smells like a grown baby, like fresh. So dinner is served. I'm gonna take my vitamins while I eat. But um, I ordered North Italia to go. So I got the spicy rigatoni, the truffle bread, um, arugula and avocado salad. And then I have this mango wine from Trader Joe's. I don't have no groceries, but tomorrow we're doing a reset. And I'm about to do my vision board. And I'm actually going to turn on a movie and watch the menu. Um, I really want to get in the shower real quick, though. Um, because it's just been a long day. Maybe I should do that. I just warmed my food up. Okay, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to take a shower real quick and then relax. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.